Hey, what's up? Coach Troyer here, back with another breakdown. And today, let's look at the Philadelphia Eagles offense in the Super Bowl. Despite coming up just short on the scoreboard, their offense lit it up, and Jalen Hurts had a phenomenal game. So let's take a look and let's deep dive what they did versus the Chiefs. So here we are, first drive, and this is just a great throw by Hurts. You can tell he's dialed in from the get-go. You're going to get a fade here. This guy's going to run a post, and then you're going to get a deep out here and the Chiefs are actually all over this they pass this all off well everything's pretty well covered and Hertz puts a perfect ball to the tight end here so that safety is all over this he sits on this you can see everything the free safety over the top on the hash has got the post the fades pretty well covered and they're ready for this out they're actually over and under but Hertz puts this where only the tight end can get the ball and a great catch and a big first down on their first drive. So here's the very next play, and it's a big play that sets up their touchdown. You're just going to get inside zone um, from the offensive line. These guys are blocking inside zone. This guy's coming across to trap the defensive end, and you're going to get a stick concept here. So he's running the stick with a flat route over here. Uh, Hertz pulls the ball, and this linebacker is actually going to be in the window but he buys enough time and Smith makes some moves and it's a huge play on their first drive to set up their touchdown. So there's the ride. You can tell he wants to go to Smith now, but that linebacker's just in the lane, buys some time, and then Smith does the rest here. Let's take a look from the end zone so you can get a better look from this angle. Great job breaking tackles and setting them up. So here's the Eagles' second touchdown and some things to note here. Um, number one, this is uh, the first play of the second quarter, so they've come out of a timeout. So really good play callers or offensive coordinators are going to have certain plays that they're ready because they don't have to call this in the huddle. So they're going to discuss this on the sideline, be able to set this up. The other thing is it's first and 10, and this is four down territory for the Eagles. So they can take a shot here and still have three downs to try to get the first down. So they're going to go with a big play action here, and it pays off. Everybody pretty much in the NFL runs this. So you're going to get wide zone action here, and then he's going to sneak off into the flat. You're going to get max protection. So this tight end is going to stay, and this one's actually going to pull. So you're getting a seven-man pass pro. The primary here, you're going to get a post corner. And then you're going to get a deep cross here. So it just turns into a three-level flood where you'd read one, two, to three here. He, for whatever reason, trusts his receiver, launches his primary, and comes up with a big play. Quick play fake there. You know, looks like it's covered. He's just going to give his guy a one-on-one -on -one shot. Puts it where he can get it for a big touchdown. So this is the drive right after the fumble. So it's the first play after, and they go right to Hertz, and they go to him often on this drive. And this is I'm not exactly 100% sure what to call this scheme. It's a basically a draw with a center pull uh, that they like, and they're very successful with it. So there goes your motion to kind of help set this up too. Great pull and kick by Kelsey, and Hertz is off to the races picking up a big first down right after that turnover. So here's a look from the end zone. So they're going to give the impression of pass, even Kelsey does for a split second. And then Kelsey's going to release and kick here. And then Hertz is going to kind of quick step, and then he's following that pull. So right there, I think Hertz has decided he's running this all the way. Nice kick. And a first down to start the drive. So same drive, fourth down. They need a big play. And they're going to go back to the same scheme here. The only difference is we've got some different routes and combinations there. But you're still going to get the same pass set. And then Kelsey's going to pull late. The Chiefs are in a man free. So all of these, these guys are in man. These guys are in man. And then you got one free safety here. And then this guy's left to spy Hertz. And the problem for the Chiefs is he goes to follow Kelsey to fit this and it leaves a gap on the backside that Hertz exploits and there's nobody there for him. So no motion this time. They're just going to line up and empty. 
So you can see the linebacker fits with Kelsey there, leaving a seam on the backside. Hertz sees that immediately. D lineman almost slips off, but can't make the tackle. And in man coverage, if he gets loose, that's that's a bad deal for the Chiefs. Here's a look from the end zone. You can see pretty much the same play. Nobody has the backside gap, and he's off. So here's the Eagles capping off this drive, and this is what I love about their offense. If something's working, they're going to go back to it. And the only difference here is they're not really pass setting. You're going to get just down, down, and now Kelsey's going to come pull. Hertz is going to follow him, but this is run all the way. They're not faking pass. This guy, they know more than likely down here by the goal line, they're in man, so it's going to get rid of one person. And the Eagles do a great job of getting everybody fit, and Hertz has an easy touchdown. So there goes the motion. It removes one person. Down block sealed. Kelsey kicks, and there's the seam for an easy touchdown. Let's look at it from the end zone. They've got an easy edge now. And this is about as easy as it can get. So great drive, great response after the fumble. Hurts really asserting himself in that drive to, to take the game back into control for the Eagles. So just another example of a next level play here by Hurts. And this is a concept they ran a number of times. You're going to get a quick five and in route by this number one receiver. And then you're going to get a sail route or deep out by the inside receiver and they hit this route for a big play i believe it was the first it was the first or second drive they had that set up one of their touchdowns this time they are going to hit this on the sideline with which is just an incredible throw so there it is the corner they're in the chiefs are in a kind of cloud cover too so that corner follows it for a little bit and then bails off underneath so they have a bracket on this route Hertz has got the ball out already. Phenomenal timing. And wow, just puts it right where only the tight end can get it. So let's take a look from the end zone. And let's just look at that window. Puts it right where only the tight end can get it for a crucial first down. So a big play here down the sideline to set up the Eagles' last touchdown. And some nuances here, you know, some little things that you could see is the Chiefs are late getting lined up here. The Eagles are using tempo, and I think this throws off their communication because this is definitely a broken coverage here. You can see they're, they're struggling to get lined up, and here come the Eagles. They're about, and now they're already snapping the ball. So the Eagles are just going to run a four verts concept here. So you're going to get a go, go, go and go so all four verts right there get a quick play action to draw the linebackers in but i'm not sure one of these two guys is wrong because this guy is going to come off and really hug this seam and that leaves this wide open the safety does come over late but one of them is in the wrong spot because somebody should have the vert going down the sideline they're late lining up there the chief's corner He's hugging. It's too late. He's already beat deep over the top. That safety is clear of the middle of the field. Hertz has already thrown the ball here. And there you have set up their last touchdown. As you can see, the Eagles did a lot in that game to set themselves up to win. They're a great offense to study and watch, so I hope you liked it. Next week, we're going to break down the Chiefs and what they did in the Super Bowl. So hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.